Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss 20 most important MySQL date functions. These are very useful functions that you use generally day in day out in your job if you are working as a data analyst or data engineer or data scientist. I am sorry, I have created a simple table where we have two date columns, a start date and end date for the demo and then we have created it and updated it, right? These two columns are timestamp columns. Timestamp means we have date as well as time. And there is this column system date where we have date in MMDD YYY format, but it is not a date column, right? It is a string column. So we will see what we can do with this column. Okay. So with that, let's start. My favorite function is the 20th function, which is very, very useful, right? So let's start. So first is current timestamp. This will give you the current timestamp. So if I just run this, it will give you the current timestamp. What is the current date and time, right? Similar to current timestamp, we have now function that also gives us the same thing, right? This is also giving you the current timestamp. So you can use any one of them, right? Or both are same. Then you have current date. Current date gives you the date. So it doesn't give you the time. It just gives you the date. Okay. Next one is current time. So current time will give you current time will give you the time right now. The thing is these functions you can run just like that without any table or you can use it along with any table. So for example, I have some data and I want time also in that, right? So we have all this data and then current time also. You can alias it as anything else as current time column, anything, right? So you can use it with other columns. You can, you know, date add, subtract date with this and with other date, right? So this, this is a very handy columns. Now, next one is date column. What it does basically is it converts your date into your timestamp column into date. So my created at, if you see, is a time column, right? Timestamp column. We have date and time both. If I just want date, so I can use this date function. Another way is I can cast this created at as date. This will also give you just the date. So if you just want date part from a timestamp column, you can either use this date function or you can use cast as date. Anyone will work. Okay. Next is date format. This is very interesting function. So what it does is, let's say you have some date fun date columns in your table, right? Now what you want for the report, you want to show date in some other format, right? So if I run this, you see it is giving me date in MMDD YYY format, right? This is not a date column anymore, right? This is just you are getting that date in this format. Your start date is a date column. It is just showing. So when you have a column as a date column, what happens? Database knows what is the year, what is the month, all the attributes of the date. Now from that, it will extract month, date and year and give you in whatever format you ask. For example, if you want date first, you can just say date, right? So it will give you in DDMM YYY format, right? See DDs first. You can even change the separator. You can put hyphen instead of forward slash anything. You can put anything literally here, right? And it will give you in date format. So to generate some report, uh, these functions are very, very handy. Okay. Next, next is date diff. This is my favorite function. So what it does is it gives you number of days between two dates, right? So if I just run this, it is telling between 26 and 31, five days. So you give high date first. See, end date is the higher date and start date is the lower date. So in date to function, you have to give higher date first and then the lower date. So it will give you number of days, how many days are there. We will see there are other functions where if you want the difference in month or year that also you can get. I'll just show you it, it will come next. Okay. The another way is in MySQL, one, one good thing is even if you don't want to use this function, you can say end date minus start date as number of days, right? So if I just do that, you see, this also gives me number of days between two dates, right? I'm saying just end date minus start date. So it understand that these are two date functions, sorry, date columns, and you want difference between those and it will give you number of days by default, right? So either you use date diff or you can just say end date minus start date, both works, okay? Next is date add. Date is very handy again, if you want to add some date to the existing date. So for example, this is my start date, right? I want to add one day, 
in that. So I will say interval one day, right? So this interval one day is not in single quotes. It is just interval. Then you are saying one and then unit. How many days? One day. You can say I want to add one month, right? So it will add one month. So if I just run this, you see, it will add one month from December to January, February to March, right? You can say, let's say five year, right? So it will add five year in that case, right? So you can put anything literally, right? You can say interval five hour, right? So if I say hour, you will see it has added five hours. So by default, it has taken zero zero hours and it has added five hours, right? So this is again, very handy function. You can use it with date or date time functions, right? Now next is similar to date add, we have date subtract. So if you want to subtract some, some unit, right? So for example, again from start date, I want to subtract one day, right? So 26 to 25, 20 to 19, 20 to 19. Again, you can change it to one month, two month or whatever you want to do, right? So very, very handy function again. Next is day, right? So if you want the day of the date. So for example, if I just say date, it is telling me this is 26th date, right? The only the date part it is giving day part 26 20 20 right so this is also very handy again similar to that you have month right so if you want the month part of your date so you can just say 12 2 5 so it will give you it is 12 month it is second month it is fifth month right and again you have year so if you use year it will give you year so this is to 24 year 2024 year 2022 year right next is day of week so it will tell you which is which day of week it is right so for example this is fifth so it starts with monday as one i think you can just double check and then two as tuesday three as wednesday so it will just tell you that this is three means wednesday five means friday six means saturday or whatever right so this is again a very handy function day of year so it will tell you the day of year right so for example if you look at February 20, it will be 51st day of the year. If you start 1st January as 1st, 2nd January as 2, right? So 31st January will be 31 and 1st February will be 32, right? And if you go on, the 20th February will be 51. This is 361st day because it is just in December 26. So this is again a handy function. Then you have day of month. In day of month, you have, if you see, Again, it is giving you a day of month. It is very similar to the day function, but it is also giving you which day of the month it is. It is 26th day of the month, 20th day of the month, 20th day of the month, right? Next is month name. Sometimes again for reporting, if you want the month names, so for example, this is December, this is February, this is May. So this will give you. Next is day name. Similar to month name, we have day name as well. So for example, it is Thursday, Tuesday, Friday. So it will give you accordingly, right? Now this is handy, very handy function system to string to date. So if you remember this sys, system date is not a date in our in our table, right? It is just a string column, where I care column. And we want to convert it to a date column. So I can say string to date. Now this is important here. In this string to date, I have to tell that my system date is in which format? My system date is in mm forward slash dd forward slash yy right in this format so i have to give same format let's say if i do dm now it will be wrong why because your month cannot be 30 i am saying dm so month cannot be 30 so if i run this it will return you null value right it is null because it is not making sense so i have to change it to the proper format then only it will work right so this is why this import this function is important now, once you convert this function to date, you can apply any date function, whatever we are discussing, right? So this, this is, this is very handy string to date function, right? Next is 18. This also I use a lot. This function will give you time is stamp in any unit, right? Earlier we saw date div where we are getting in days here. You can get in minutes, you can get in seconds or whatever you want, right? So for example, let's say these two columns, right? Created it and updated it. And these are two columns I have. And if I just run this, it is giving me that between these two times, right, 
the number of minutes i want in minute is this number of minutes are this between these two time step between these two time step these many minutes are there you can convert it to day so it will give you number of days between days between these two so it is 14 it is 15 so just one day this is 365 days this is same day so zero right this and you can you can use this for on the date function as well right it is not just timestamp function so this is start date and end date are my date function so you can even apply to that so if you want number of days number of week between any two dates you can use again this function so this is again very handy function right five days between these two one one six days 365 you want month between these two it will give you month you want week then put week you can put anything it will give you number of month is zero because it is same month right so very handy function very useful function right now 19 again if you want the last day of the month right so if you see whatever is start date for that month whatever this date is falling in whatever month for that month it will give you the last day it is 31st december it is 20 february so 29 february right so it will give you last day of the month for this date okay the last one is very 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 useful function extract function my favorite function you can just extract any part of the date right we saw different functions like month year day you don't need anything you will say extract and what you want from start date right i want day so it will give you 26 you want month just change it to month so it will give you month see it is 12 month right whatever you want you want week you want year just put it same function just change this unit and it will give you year right this works on the timestamp functions as well if you want let's say hour minute or whatever you want right it will give you hours if you want minute second everything you can get it right these 20 functions are very useful most of the time these functions only you will be using in your day-to-day -day life other functions are there but not much i hope it is useful let me know in comment section if you want similar video for sql server or postgres or any other database i'll be happy to create it do share and like this video thanks for watching have a good day